Oh, McQueen. Crazy McQueen. McQueen and I got along pretty good. McQueen looked at me kind of like an older brother. And he didn't want to have much to do with me till he got in trouble, then he'd call. And, uh, you know, he knew he could trust me to tell him just what I thought. And uh, a lot of people wouldn't do that. And then we had a falling out. Uh, it wasn't a falling out. It's I did Grand Prix. Steve was originally slated to do that movie, but he couldn't get along with Frankenheimer. And so that lasted about 30 minutes, and Steve was out and I was in. And Steve went over to do Sand Pebbles, which went about a year longer than they wanted to go. Big productions, spent a lot of money, and stayed over in China too long, or Taiwan it was. So when I got uh, the part in Grand Prix, I called him and in Taiwan. And I said, Steve, I want to tell you before you hear it from somebody else that I'm going to do Grand Prix. Well, there was about a $20 silence there on the telephone. <laughs> he didn't know what to say. And finally he said, well, oh, that's great, great. I'm glad to hear it. Because he had planned to do Le Mans, which was another title at the time. And, but we were going to be out in Grand Prix released before he ever even got to that film. But uh, he said, great, great. Well, I'm glad to hear it. That's good. You know, uh, if anybody's going to do it, I'm glad you're doing it, blah, 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 blah. He didn't talk to me for about a year and a half, and we were next door neighbors. <laughs> so it did get to him a little bit. Finally, his son, Chad, made him take him to go see Grand Prix. <laughs> and from that time on, we were talking again. But Steve was a wild kid. He was a wild kid. He didn't know where he wanted to be or what he wanted.